This video is about the installation of the Baja Designs Squadron Pro Universal Kit on my 2020 Ducati Multistrada Enduro 1260. Since this is a universal installation kit, you may also be able to utilize these installation methods on your motorcycle. So let's get this video started and show you what I did for my installation. Make sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you like the content. Also, I am not an electrical engineer and you need to be careful about what modifications you make to your motorcycle that it does not impact the safety or operation during use and also understand that modifications may void the bike's warranty. I am not responsible for any modifications that you make to your equipment. I am simply showing you the project that I completed. Okay, so let's run through what came in the kit and then we'll get this thing installed. The kit I purchased was the Adventure Bike Squadron Pro from Baja Designs. It comes with the relay to power the lights, the power cord which connects the battery to the relay, an auxiliary button which I use to turn the lights on and off, the mounting brackets and the lights. It does come with two different lights. The first is the Squadron Pro Spot LED light which gives you long range and the other is a Squadron Pro Driving Combo LED which gives you the side to side so you have light shooting out to the sides past the edges of the road and the ditch. Honestly I was extremely impressed with the performance of the lights and this combo really works great. This combo puts out a claim to 9800 lumens and I do believe that when you turn them on the, um, the trail in the area out past the sides of the roads are well lit which I will show you at the end of the video. Even at 80 miles an hour, you are nowhere near outrunning your lights. Now for the install. So I started by installing the brackets onto the lights themselves. I then removed the side case and the motorcycle seats for easier access to work. For the most part, I use tools in which I normally carry on the bike. I do that because in the event that I um, have to perform a repair or troubleshoot while out in the backcountry, I should have the tools that I need to do that work. When removing the rider seat on the Ducati, remove the two bolts securing the seat, then lift up on the back of the seat and pull it towards the rear of the bike. The seat will rotate on what I call the hinge point, and by rotating up, it removes the seat from the seat slots. Everybody can read the installation brochure, so let's skip to the finished wiring setup and how I decided to route the wiring on my bike. I chose to pull power from an auxiliary charging device uh, built into the bike, which turns on and off with the bike. So when the bike is off, there's no power fed to the auxiliary device and the switch cannot trigger the relay and thus it prevents dead batteries. For this installation I, I spliced into the positive connection which is the white wire on the auxiliary outlet on this 2020 Ducati Multistrada Enduro. Running that through the auxiliary switch which was then connected to the yellow wire from the relay. According to the instructions this wire would be connected to the high beam wire so that when you turn on the high beams, the lights turn off. When you turn off the high beams, the lights would turn off. The black wire from the relay then connects to the ground, which was the green wire on this auxiliary device I tapped into. So one big point is that I did not want to connect into my headlights like most kits recommend. The reason I did not want to do this is because in speaking with the Ducati service tech, he mentioned that they often see issues with various kits from Clearwater and Baja Designs when people splice into the headlights, headlight wiring because the Ducati electrical system is very sensitive. This is also a very expensive motorcycle with very advanced headlights and I wanted to use an alternate switch to power the lights. One which I didn't care if it quit working if there was an issue on the trail. One important note is that you do not want to pull the power to the um, to run the switch directly off of your battery because if you accidentally hit that switch and it turns the lights on and you did not notice that you could end up with a dead battery. 
One error that I did make when ordering the lights, however, was that I wanted to mount the lights to the upper portion of the crash bar rather than below where I normally see them. I thought that this would allow for better light dis uh, dispersion and direction. However, what I found is that the lights do not allow sufficient adjustment to point straight in this location, so I had to move them below where I normally see the lights mounted. It is important to note though that the bars are two different sizes. So the upper portion of the crash bar is one inch and the lower one that I had to connect to was I believe seven eighths. So I, uh, so I ended up cutting a section of inner tube to fill the gap. I'll end up ordering the correct mount, but this worked to get me through the Death Valley trip that I had coming up very quickly. Once you get the lights mounted, the front cover is going to be upside down. So remove the four Allen screws and rotate the cover so that the wording is in the correct orientation. Okay, now let's show you what they can do. Again, I was truly amazed at the difference the lights make. Uh, what I did find myself doing is using the auxiliary button that I installed to operate the lights rather than the high beams um, on the motorcycle because when the Baja design lights are on, I cannot even tell that the normal motorcycle high beams are even on. Well, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up for future content.